time, but powerless. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior, but are still not living a life of abundance? Yes, you have been saved by the grace of God, but are still living a life of bondage and a life of captivity? Brethren, please allow me to talk to you today. In the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 1, the word of God says, Stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Brethren, I believe you'll be set free today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining Inspiration Garage today. My returning subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for always coming back here to support my content and support this ministry. I don't take it for granted. May God beautify your life and may God meet you at your most point of need. And if you're new here, you've just come across this beautiful channel. Welcome to the family. My name is Ruth here. I share faith-based content. I motivate you. I inspire you. I share the word of God. And I also help women become better versions of themselves through the word of God. So if this sounds like a content that you love to consume, then I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and support this ministry by subscribing to this channel down below here and always put in the notification then so that anytime I upload a new video you're always among the first people to be notified and I'm also going to encourage you anytime you visit this channel please go back to your previous messages and watch them and trust me you're going to be inspired to the glory and honor of God Friends, today I'm talking about your own freedom. You, as a child of God, you need to enjoy the freedom that comes with salvation. But despite the salvation, there's something that is still holding you back. In this video today, I'm going to share with you three things that are still holding you in the captive of Satan. But I believe by the end of this video today, you're going to be set free in Jesus' name. In the book of John chapter 11, we all know about this story of Lazarus. Jesus performed a miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead. Trust me, that was a very powerful miracle. So when Jesus performed that miracle and he raised Lazarus from the dead, Lazarus was set free. But there is one thing that was supposed to be done for Lazarus to be set free and to be free indeed. Yes, he was raised from the dead and he was set free but he was still putting on the grave clothes so the grave clothes were supposed to be taken away from Lazarus for him to enjoy total freedom and that is why you find that Jesus commands that those clothes to be removed for Lazarus to be set free and free indeed many of us right now you are born again and you have been saved by the grace of God but you are still holding on to the old mindset, old habits, old cycles, old behaviors. We are still holding on to the old steps that you are doing before we were born again. The word of God says when you accept Jesus as your personal savior and when you are saved by the grace of God, you are a new creature in him. The old things are gone and you are a new person. So once you receive salvation of Jesus Christ, as your personal savior then you need to take off the old mindset you need to take off the old sins you need to break the bad cycle of bad habits that you used to have before you were born again because you are a new creature in christ jesus so brethren the first thing as a believer as a born again christian you need to identify what is holding you back for you not to enjoy total freedom in salvation and how do you set yourself free and start enjoying total freedom in salvation and use your salvation to become a dangerous woman and man of God in the word of God? Number one is sin. I want you to understand today that sin is a power that enslaves many Christians, including me and you. We are living in a very sinful world. But as a believer, because we are living in a world full of sin, it does not give you a ticket or does not guarantee you to start living in a sinful way because the world is cruel. 
As a child of God, you need to apply wisdom and you need to apply discipline when it comes to matters of salvation. Because trust me, sin will always come knocking on your door. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, the word of God says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. The word of God tells us in his word, yes, sins may come, but you as a born again Christian and you as a believer, he's not going to allow sin overtake you or you be tempted beyond what you can bear. And you also see that in the book of Psalms 34 verse 19, the word of God clearly says many other afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them from them all. Out of them all, the Lord will deliver you from them all. Sin is one of the power that has really overtaken the body of Christ. And that is why you as a born again Christian, you're not able to enjoy the freedom and the goodness of God in salvation because sin has overtaken the body of Christ. As a child of God, you are able to endure sin because Jesus himself broke the curse of sin. In the book of 1 John, the word of God tells us that, but if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Despite the world being cruel and full of sin, if you are a child of God and you find yourself in sinful act, you can always go back to him and if you confess with your mouth and confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you from all righteousness. So the second thing that is still holding you back in salvation and you're not able to enjoy the freedom you have that comes with salvation is lies. Yes, you're born again and you have been saved by the grace of God, but you're still walking in lies. And you all find that in the book of John chapter 8 verse 32, the word of God says that the truth will set you free. So once you know the word of God, you need to know the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is the word of God. The truth is in the word of God. What you are looking for is in the word of God. And the word of God should be a priority in your life. Everything you do, you should put God first. You should prioritize God in your life. Anything you do, you should do under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because once you know the word of God, the word of God is life and the word of God is the truth. Knowing the word of God, it is knowing the truth. And once you know the truth, the truth will set you free. So the first thing you need to do as a born again Christian, you need to know God. You need to know the word of God and need to believe in his word. Shut all the noises that the word is saying to you. You need to close your ears and shut anything that the devil is trying to whisper in your ears and listen to the voice of God. When you keep on listening to lies and listening to the voices of the devil, then the devil will put you into his cage and the devil will twist you anywhere he wants you to go because you're still listening to the voices of the devil. So as a born again Christian, once you receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior, take a bold step and listen to the voices of God Take a bold step and read the word of God and understand the word of God. Find revelation in this word of God because the word of God clearly says in John chapter 8 verse 32 that the truth will set you free. But the truth is nothing else but the word of God. The word of God is the truth. So when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. So you have a choice either to listen to the voices of the devil or to listen to what God is saying over your life. So you need to shut your ears from the wild noise, from what the devil is trying to whisper to you and listen to the voice of God. And know the truth and that truth can only be found in the word of God and it will completely set you free. Third power that is really holding you back in salvation and you're not able to enjoy the freedom of god that god has given you through salvation is demons brethren 
Don't quote me on this. I believe demons are there and demons have power. Yes, I don't refuse that. But as a believer, as a born again Christian, you have power within you to overcome demons. So you need to stop prioritizing the powers of demons in your life. Everything that comes your way is Satan. If you don't achieve your project, it's Satan. If you don't do this, it's Satan. It's the devil. You have given the devil so much airtime over your life. Every now and then mentioning the power of the devil. When you keep on mentioning the power of the devil over your life, the powers of the devil overtake you. And as a believer, you become weakened in spiritual matters. Ah, you know. So you need to stop prioritizing the devil and giving the devil so much airtime in your life. Everything that comes your way, any attack that comes your way is the devil. The devil has done this. The devil has no power. When Jesus died and rose from the dead, the third day, the demons, the, the evil, the scorpions, everything was defeated at Calvary. So as a born again Christian, you need to stop giving the devil so much airtime. It's easier to say that the devil of lust is attacking you. But in reality, you are not able to control your sexual urge. You are blaming the devil of attacking you. So as a born again Christian, you need to embrace the discipline that comes with salvation. You have the power to shut down the devil because whoever lives in you is powerful than that devil. Jesus overcame Satan and Jesus overcame the powers of the devil a long time ago. So there is power within you to overcome that devil. So you need to stop prioritizing and giving the devil more airtime in your life. Yes, the devil is real and the devil has power. But trust me, today I want you to understand the devil was defeated long time ago and you have the power in you because Jesus who lives in you overcame the devil. So you have the power in you to overcome the devil. As I wind up this video, when Jesus performed the miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead, it's the same way Jesus saved you by his grace. And Jesus went further and clothing Lazarus from the grave clothes for Lazarus to be set free and be free indeed. God has a purpose for you. And one of his purpose is for you to enjoy the full benefits of salvation here on earth. My prayer to you today is that may you allow God to work on you. May you allow God to crush you. May you allow God to undress you. May you allow God to just unclothe you the grave clothes and just make you a new person, make you a new creature so that you can be able to enjoy the full benefits of salvation of here on earth. And may you be able to live a life of abundance, a life of greatness, a life of fulfillment to the glory and honor of God. I'm also going to encourage you, if you have not subscribed uh, to these messages, please support this ministry by subscribing to this channel down below here and always put on the notification bell. So anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. God bless you.